Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and I'm taking a break from the sea today. This is my usual uh, daily view, but uh, I just had to make a video today and show you a new subscription kit that just came in my house. I wanted to share it with you. This is the Pink and Main subscription kit. This month the theme is nautical, so I just had to share it with you. So let's take a look on what's included and then I'm going to share three cards. Now inside you will find this card and at the back you can see the color combination of this card kit. It also gives you a list of all the products included as well as the name of the kit and more info about it. Now the fun part is that in the kit you will find a nice Ziploc bag which is perfect for storing all the products from the kit. Before I show you what's in the bag, let's take a look at the cardstock included. There are 8 different pages, two of them are white and you can see the rest of the lovely colors. This is quality heavy cardstock by Basil by the way. First of all you will get a jar of wow embossing powder in this powder blue color. This is a bag of uh, wood veneer embellishments, all nautical themed. I'm going to take them out of the package so you can see what comes in this bag. I'm going to use actually all of them in one of the cards that I'm going to share in this video. This is a bag of rhinestones in a lovely rose gold color, really shiny, and they come in different sizes. You also get twine, three yards of each color. The kit comes with four envelopes that you can use for your cards. Now let's take a look at the 6x6 paper pad. These are uh, lovely designs, I absolutely love them, they are definitely my style. Uh, they are double sided but you do get uh, three pages for each design. I will be using this pattern paper for the three cards that I will be making today. You also get a bag with buttons. These are glitter buttons in uh, two different colors and different sizes. Plus you get an embossing uh, folder in a really versatile design with all those uh, rays. A really great design for adding extra dimension and uh, texture on your cards. Now this is a 6x6 stamp set. Again nautical themed. I love the lighthouse. You get an anchor as well as that uh, bottle with um, the boat inside. And uh, you also get a bag of uh, sequins. And I'm going to open up the bag so you can see that it comes with uh, some of those shells as well. And finally you get a little pin. Now you get everything for $34.99 and they always include products with a value over $65. Also they have many benefits if you are one of their subscribers because you will get 15% discount on everything on their online shop. But you can find a link down below where you can see all the info. So I'm going to start creating my first card. I am keeping my designs really simple today, they are easy to recreate. Now as you can see I'm playing with a couple of uh, circle dies here, placing one inside the other and I'm using the craft cardstock so that I can cut out a ring. Now I'm going to use the smaller of the circle dies and I'm going to place it on top of my pattern paper and cut out the window. I'm using glue all around the window and I'm going to stick there my little craft ring and I absolutely love nautical cards as uh, they are quite masculine and you can easily hand them out to both boys and girls. And it's time to do some stamping. Here I'm placing just temporarily the top panel. I have picked the anchor from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp that inside that window. And uh, I will be using my Versa marking and apply my white embossing powder. Now if you are trying to do embossing in a such intricate design you really need to make sure that you use fine embossing powder which is exactly what I'm doing here. At the back of the panel I have foam tape so that I add a little bit of dimension and I'm placing one on top of the other. Now my card panel is ready, I'm going to add some uh, embellishments so I will use my glue there and add some dots around the craft ring and then on top I'm going to add some of the sequins that were included in the kit. I make sure that I pick the same size and the same color just for consistency and of course you can leave your card as it is now which is what I did but if you want you can add an, um, a sentiment at the very bottom since we do have some space there. Thank you. 
Moving on to the second card, and I used this pattern paper twice. Once I cut out all those blue circles using this die, and now with the second uh, same pattern paper, I'm going to cut out a piece that's four and a quarter by five and a half. This is going to completely cover up an A2 card. Now I'm going to place all those um, blue circles on top of it, just trying to align them. I have nine circles all together because I have nine good veneer elements. So I have uh, placed them without measuring anything. You can of course go ahead and make a grid and measure. I just eyeball everything. I think it looks nice. I used my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back to stick everything down. And these are going to provide a nice area where I can stick my wood veneers on top. I used my Nouveau Deluxe to stick that wood veneer on top of paper and it worked fine. You can also use uh, glue dots. And you can see I left a space there so that I can stamp my sentiment. For that I went with Celebrate Each Day. I am going to stamp that with brown ink so that it matches all the little uh, distressed details on my pattern paper. So I'm going to glue this panel on top of my card base. I also made sure that this panel is slightly smaller in uh, width. So you can see that it leaves a little strip of blue on one side. Now I'm going to embellish this side a little bit more and I have this leftover, this is from the previous card, which I'm going to stick at the edge. And of course I'm going to use my scissors to trim off the excess paper and I'm going to call this card done. And let's move on to the last card for today. Here I'm stamping on watercolor paper with archival black ink, the lighthouse. I used my Arteza Real Brass markers to color everything. And um, that's why I use archival ink to stamp my images so that it doesn't smudge or smear at this stage. And once I colored everything, I used my scissors to cut out the image. If you want to make your life easier, you can leave a white border all around. I went directly where the black line is, and it's a very easy image to cut out, to fuzzy cut, since the black lines are quite big. And of course, I didn't cut out the, the little flag at the top. I used the craft cardstock to tear off a little piece, which I am going to stick directly on top of my pattern paper. So I'm using some uh, double-sided tape at the back, and this is going to provide a shore. I also created this frame out of white cardstock just by placing one rectangle die inside the other. And now at the top I'm going to place my lighthouse. I'm just trying to decide where I want to position this one, and I do have foam squares at the back to add some dimension. I used one of the sentiments from the stamp set that says I show do think you are amazing which I'm going to stick on top of my card and just to embellish it a little bit more and to finish it off I'm going to add some of those sequins at the sand. It's going to give some sparkle there but if you are planning to keep it quite masculine then you can omit this step. And you can see here some close-up photos of my third card using the lighthouse. And here are all the three cards that I made for today using products from the June card kit by Pink and May. You will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you will all have a lovely day.